Stability of stability of carbocation that is plus I effect. Carbocation increases when it is surrounded to stability of carbocation increases when it is surrounded to more number of alkyl group. So is that the primary tertiary? Yes, it's the same. It's RS will be what this comes over here. RS, pi sigma positive charge, type 1. Okay? And it gives you this. Which one is more stable? This is the first one. First one, because it is 3 degree. One degree. one degree. First one is more stable. Right? And it is exactly or positive the negative charge is there. Which one is more stable? Negative charge. RS is this comes over here, and this comes over this card. First one, because it is 3 degree, and this is 2 degree. Right? So this is more stable than carbon ion. Next, write down. Rule number 7. The structure which has. The structure which has more benzenoid form is more stable. The structure which has more benzenoid form is more stable. More benzenoid. Benzenoid form is more stable. This rule we call it as Fry's rule. <coughs> Fry's rule. More benzenoid form, more stable. Okay. No, this is not in the order. It is different. This is for cyclic aromatic compound. Okay. Till rule number uh, six. Six. It is in the order. Huh? <laughs> this is for a specific compound when you have cyclic ring like this. This is one structure, and when you draw the resonating structure of this, you get. Okay, so in this, A is more stable than B. Why? Because A has two benzenoid form. You see, this is a benzene ring. This is also a benzene ring. Okay, this pi bond is shared by the, the two rings. So there's two benzene ring. You can see A is more stable than B, more benzenoid form. So it has two benzenoid form here. Second one, we have only one. You see, here we have one and two, two benzenoid forms. Okay, this molecule we call it as naphthalene. So they share, so they share two. Wait, why? Wait, how did the second share it to bond? Huh? So why is the first one more stable? One. Yeah. And two benzenoid. Pi bond. Huh? This pi bond is shared with the two rings. Okay, okay. One and two. Here we have only one. This is not a benzene ring. So first one, this molecule is anthracene. So you cannot have more than two, right? Two benzene. Yes. 
other instructions are also possible. In this, we cannot have. A is more than B. Last rule write down. Aromaticity. Aromatic compound is the most stable. Then we have non aromatic. Anti-aromatic. So what is that? Okay. See, this aromaticity we'll discuss uh, separately. Okay. I'll just discuss one thing here. molecules you have to compare the stability of RS. Okay? Aromatic compounds are those compounds. Which are conjugated cyclic planar and has 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Where n is equals to any number 0, 1, 2, and so on. Okay? If this condition is satisfied, then the compound is aromatic. Conjugated, cyclic, planar, 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Anti aromatic, all conditions are true, but it should have 4n pi electron. n is equals to 0, 1, 2, and so on. So all pi bonds. No, an RCR one would be even. So, the odd number of 5 bonds. No, aromatic. Odd number of 5 bonds. Odd number of 5 bonds. So, this is pi electrons. So, this is pi bonds. No, he said that before it's an RCR. Oh, by 2 years. Okay. First one is, see here we have, here we have 3 pi bond, correct? Here we have 2 and this is 2, but again this rule 1 we won't apply here. Because if this compound, if you see how many pi electrons it has, 1, 2, 3, 4 and lone pair is also counted pi bond because it can form a pi bond here, right? So 1, 2 and 6, so it has 6 pi electrons. For this one it is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pi electrons. Okay? So obviously this one is this one is aromatic compound. Right? For n is equals to 1, it is aromatic. For n is equals to 1, it is anti-aromatic. And this one is non-aromatic compound. So we don't count the No, no, it's, it's only for ring. Cyclic. Conjugated cyclic plane. It's only for cyclic compounds. Non aromatic related, we will discuss in aromaticity separately. Okay, we will discuss that. Okay, aromaticity we again discuss. Okay, separately we will discuss this. But obviously, this one is aromatic, this one is anti aromatic, and this one is non aromatic. Okay, usually the compounds generally. Uh, it's not non-aromatic, but the stability of non-aromatic compounds and the normal compounds is almost similar. Okay? Aromaticity gives extra stability to the molecule at normal conditions. Anti-aromaticity is instable, unstable, sorry. It's unstable molecule at normal conditions. Right? 
So obviously this one is most stable and this one is least stable because the order is this aromatic, non-aromatic and anti-aromatic. So when, you know when you solve some questions and you look at the molecules, you'll understand this molecule is aromatic. Yeah. So it's all about practice. Like I said, the first molecule has three. See, when aromaticity is there, it it you know dominates all other factors. So aromatic compounds always you have to consider the most stable compound, except dancing resonance that we'll discuss later, which is just a one case. But in general, aromatic compounds are most stable. So whenever the compound is aromatic, you have to take that compound as the most stable. No, no, no. Rule one, two, three, four, five, and six you can consider in an order. But seventh and eighth one, seventh one is simply different benzonoid form. You'll understand when you look at the structure like this, you can understand that this is the benzonoid form rule you have to apply. So if I see rule 7 or 8 saying something, I should consider the other No. This and this will, you know, dominate the all of them. And what if 7 and 8 contradict each other? No. When you have aromaticity, it's always more stable. Aromaticity overpowers everything. Dominates everything. So what about in the other factors? What are the order? One rule one to six is in the order. Uh, till five it's in the order. Uh, six one is that one no uh, carbocation stability plus i minus i. So that is again different. Okay, but one to five is in order. When you solve some question, you'll understand what rule you have to apply. There's no doubt in that. So don't get worried about that. Okay. So aromaticity, this two will be applied when we have cyclic compounds like this, where you can have the you know possibility of aromatic compound. Aromatic compound is only possible for cyclic system. Open chain hai toh rules seven and eight you cannot apply. Right. Okay. This order they have asked many times in the exam. Need with the bahut kar pucha hi or correctly aromatic, non aromatic, anti aromatic. Okay. Many times they have asked this order. Aromaticity, like I said, we'll discuss this separately also. What are the conditions? Like this rule, we call it as the molecule which has this electron. This rule, we call it as Huckel's rule. It is Huckel's rule. 4n plus 2 pi electron, Huckel's rule. There are other molecules which does not follow Huckel's rule, but is still aromatic. Okay. So all those things we'll discuss separately. In aromaticity. Okay. So this is the you know rules we have to follow to find out the stability of resonating structure. Okay. Now to find out the bond order, like I said, okay, bond order depends upon the stability of resonating structure. The RS which is more stable contributes more, and according to that we'll have the range of bond order. Okay. So bond order we have already discussed in chemical bonding that uh, we ha it has fractional as well as integral value also. Both bond order possible. Yeah, no, MOT may. Yes. Molecular so if the fractional bond order possible in the molecule which has resonance.